make marbleized paper. We made this cool paper. Isn't it beautiful? We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need a baking tray, and then you need some shaving cream. Just get regular shaving cream that's white. Make sure it doesn't have any aloe vera and no gel cream. Fill the tray with the shaving cream. <laughs> I got it. Once the tray is filled with shaving cream, you have to smooth out the top. You can use your hands, or a ruler, or even a mixing spoon. You really want the top very smooth so that when you press down your card, it's not bumpy or anything or there's clumps on it. Then you're gonna add your food coloring. I've decided that I'm going to use red first. Think about colors that you'd like to see together. And then drop the food coloring close together. Then you use a toothpick to marble the top. Marble is a sort of funny word because it doesn't have anything to do with little balls of glass. When you marble something in art, it means you gently mix a dark color into a light color. You gently use a toothpick to mix the color in. Once the colors are mixed, you're ready to put on your paper. Don't use regular paper because it will get too wet with the shaving cream. Use a note card or any other heavy paper. Press it right on top of the shaving cream right on the colorful spot you want. When you're pressing it in, you're putting the ink on the card. Don't press it to the bottom, just press it lightly on top of the shaving cream. Then peel it gently out. And then scrape the shaving cream off of the card. Whoa. What's left behind is the beautiful pattern of marbled food coloring. This is so cool. Finally, when you're done, it's gonna look like this. And that's how you make marbleized paper. For more great videos like this one, press here. Come on, come play with us. It's gonna be fun.